All right, welcome to the very first Voodoo Pad tutorial, and I will be teaching you the basics of the program and getting started on a clinic notebook. So first, we have the program open. It's been activated, and we're going to hit New Document, and we're going to call this one a uh, clinic notebook, and we're going to save it on the desktop. And here we can make a password on it if we wanted and then hit save and here you can find the default thing that comes up uh, the default page I like to just highlight all of that and cross it out okay so a little bit about the program um, right here we can right click on this gray bar up here and hit customize toolbar these are all the different tools that you can use when using the program I like dragging them up where I can use them. So a delete. I like having a drawer up here, which I'll explain more about. Here we have a font panel or T for type. Uh, the I for info. This gives us kind of all the background information on our document as we're making it. Uh, home button. Um, we have a link button here, a print button, uh, and or we can just use the default toolbar and drag that up there as well. So we'll hit done. Next we'll go to Voodoo Pad Preferences and we'll change some of the preferences. In under the general tab, I like having just the money sign title money sign as input here in this little box. What that means is whatever pa a new page is called, that's what the new page will be after we make the link for it. I also like to hit a few things on the editing tab such as check spelling as you type. That one's useful. Uh, here we can change the link color. I like to change this to in a new tab. Here the web, ser web server we can um, choose where we want to view the website at. It's often very, really helpful. And there we go. All right. We'll close that and we'll open up our drawer. This is an area where we can see all the different pages we've made. As you can see it says index right now. It also says index here and index here. Well I like to change that to table of contents. And there we go. It's now changed it up here, right here, and over here. I like to keep this open as well as a you can see how just hitting the T up there makes the type panel or makes it go away. Uh, here we have the document info. Choose where you want your home page. We will want the table of contents to be our home page. Here we can turn on that web server function. And we'll go back to page info. Okay. So on our table of contents, it's just like any other word editor. We actually have a little ruler tab up here. And we can center that and type table of contents okay and nutrition conditions on and on we can write anything we want in our table of contents well to make a link the main way the program works is to highlight the word that you want to make a link which also means that you're going to make a new page within your overall document titled nutrition here so we hit command L on the keyboard or we can hit this link button so I'm gonna hit the link button and you can see it made a new page with nutrition as the title it's over here in our drawer and if we go back to our table of contents we can now see there's a hyperlink just like you would have on a web page well we're gonna make a conditions one as well and then we're going to go in our conditions and we're going to type iron deficiency anemia. Okay. And we're going to highlight that. Hit command L to make a link. And as you can see, we now have a condition. We can also do congestive heart failure. Make a link for that. And then we can even make a subcategory for anemias. So let's say we want to say anemias. And then 
we're going to tab over and we'll, we'll say cardiac conditions and then we'll do macrocytic anemia megaloblastic anemia etc and we'll make a link for that one okay so let's go back to our nutrition page so here's our table of contents we can see all the different pages we've made up here as well as the ones over here in the drawer well let's go to the nutrition page and let's make our, nutri our uh, nutrients so let's do vitamins minerals and we'll call one vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin E, and so forth. And then over here, we'll do iron and calcium. Okay, so I wanna make a page for all of these. So we'll go iron, calcium, vitamin C, and we'll do that for right now. Okay. So how do I make this clinically useful um, in terms of when I have someone coming into the clinic? Well, let's say on my iron deficiency anemia page, I had signs and symptoms. Then I had a DDX. And then I had physical exam. And then I had labs. Then I had diagnosis. And then I have treatment. Well, for treatment for iron deficiency anemia, we often take iron with vitamin C. And as you can see, it automatically recognized that I had a page for iron and vitamin C and made those links automatically for me, which is pretty handy. And then I can say on my iron page, often taken to treat. And I can actually even, instead of typing out iron deficiency anemia, I can even drag this from the top here and place it there. And I can say I take that with vitamin C. So I can even drag it from my drawer over there. This comes in really handy if you want to build a table of contents really quickly or add words in. What if I want to search for vitamin C, but I search for it under ascorbic acid, another name for vitamin C? Well, I can actually hit the info button up here at the top and it's called an alias and I can type in ascorbic acid. It's also helpful to have the actual text in the dot in the page itself for search purposes. So now I let's pretend I'm in the clinic and I open up my clinic notebook and I see on the computer that someone's coming in for anemia. Well, I can type in anemia, and I've got a DDX of different types of anemia. I've got, I can read more about iron deficiency anemia, read about what physical exam I need to do, what labs I need to do, how to diagnose it, and then ultimately where's the treatment. And I can see right with that search, I have iron and vitamin C come up. So that's the basics of the program. Um, there's many other options, including a way to alphabetize. I like to highlight all the text here and hit plug in alphabetize. And as you can see, it's B, C, H, N. It's nice and alphabetized. Um, one other method of some quick hints is you can actually increase the text of anything very quickly by hitting highlighting what you want to increase and hitting command plus 
and just keep hitting it until you find a size that you really like. Um, it's really easy to uh, throw pictures in it as well. You can actually just drag a picture from wherever it is on your computer and just throw it in there. And you can either choose to paste it in there or link it in there. Pasting it in actually puts the image right in the program. By Let's say I had a document that I wanted to put in. Well, I can actually make a link to that document by dragging it from a computer and just throwing it in. And now you can see autoimmune patient presentation dot doc x. I can actually click on that and it will open Word for me and open that file. Uh, I can also import a file by going to File Import and I find a Word document. We'll do this one here. Maybe not that one. We'll do the autoimmune patient presentation that I just showed you and I can hit import and it actually adds it as a page in the file with all the text automatically in it. And If I had other pages on aloe vera gel, EPA, Boswellia, curcumin, all of those would have made automatically made links. So that's two quick ways to get information into your clinic notebook. If at any given time you don't like a page, just hit the delete button and you can make it go away. This works for PDFs as well. You can just drag a PDF in. Uh, you can actually even record music with the program by going in here and hitting record audio. Name the recording and start recording. Well, that's it for our first video. And uh, stay tuned for more.